We are going to talk about credit history and credit reports. My learning target is I can explain why it's important to have a positive credit history, describe a credit report, and why credit reports are important to borrowers and lenders. So what is on a credit report? The length of your credit history, so how long you have had some type of credit history, number of lines of credit, that can be cards, credit cards, loans, and a mortgage. Loans could be a car loan, college loan. How much you are spending of your credit limit. Any late payments, if you have any. And then inquiries or records usually are on there for about five years. Why is it important to have a positive credit history? Well, there are a few things. Um, we have people that are called lenders and they are people who give you money temporarily people you can borrow money from and you want a positive credit history because if you go to try and borrow money for college for a car for a house those are some of the big things you borrow money for um you want your history to be positive um and your credit report to be positive because otherwise they're not going to lend you money if it doesn't look good um, borrowers are people that need money and plan to pay it back. So you are the borrower and you're getting it from the lender. So positive credit history or reports show lenders that borrowers can be trusted with their money. What can affect your credit report? So there are things that can positively affect your credit report and things that can negatively affect your credit report. So um, things that are positively going to affect your credit or history or report are making payments on time. Paying loans in full. Credit cards with low balances and few credit cards. If you have too many credit cards, that's not going to look good. Some negative things that can affect um, your credit report is multiple credit checks. That's having a lot of people check to see your credit history to for you to try and borrow money. Say somebody said no and you check again and they said no and you check again. That's showing that you're opening, trying to open a lot of lines of credit or you're being turned down for some reason. Late payments, overdrawn checking account, that's when you take out too much money, more money than you have in your account, and a lot of credit cards with high balances. All right, and then I would just summarize what you learn at the bottom. Thank you for watching.